Lovejoy with KGNT News Radio. I'm joined by my friend firefighter, Mr. Jeff Justice, and we've got a special treat today. Now, the city will probably have a grand opening event coming soon for this. Yeah, the uh, first week of November we're looking at. It. First week of November, but here we're going to give you a sneak peek of the latest firehouse. This is uh, Amarillo Firehouse number nine, right here on I-40 at Paramount, the latest technology, the latest design to give these guys just a wee bit of comfort while they're, they're at work doing something very important for our community, keeping us safe. Jeff, tell us a little bit about this new fire station. This is one of our, I believe, our second new station that follows this model. And man, it is exciting because it feels like they had us in mind when they designed it. Uh, station 9 is consistently the busiest truck in town. So these guys need a good place to relax in between calls, like you said. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's exciting. If you have some, some of the most latest and modern technology here, and one of the key things is where this house is located at. It's right on Paramount and I-40, easy access to the highway both east and west, North Amarillo, Central Amarillo. These guys can get to an emergency no matter what part of town quickly. Yes. Let's take a look at the new firehouse. All right. Right here, first thing here. We've got a workout room in here. Utility free weights. You've got knowledge machines, a treadmill. A lot of people don't realize uh, you guys spend 24 hours sometimes in a shift here at this station. That's right. Why is it so important that you guys maintain your health and this type of well, amenity? Number one, as a firefighter, you've got to be in good shape because we need to be able to pull people out or pull our, our co workers out of a burning building. Um, number two, it's a good way to de stress. We see a lot of things that are very, very stressful. Uh, and this is a good way to blow off some steam and vent. All this equipment will get some new use real soon. Go right ahead, Jeff. Okay. This is one of my favorite things. This is so <laughs> They took some parts off of old trucks oh, and wow. made a faucet out of it. Cool. That's that is cool. neat. That is neat. Just little fun things little like that. Things like little that. coffee bar area there you go. in this front. Everything's open. This is the office, basically, for the officers. Kind of open concept. Just a beautiful design. Come down this hallway here. It's got a public restroom. It's got a data room. And here we have a storm shelter. Okay, just in case of severe weather. That's right. Right here, yeah. So, it's got computers, things like that in there, so they can keep doing work That's in right. the event so of severe weather. That's right, they us if the power goes out. We still have ways to connect with each other. Good deal. Good deal. Here is the living room and kitchen area. Wow. Now, modern kitchen. Nice big TV, nice comfortable chairs for the guys to relax in. Uh, a modern state-of-the-art kitchen. Uh, the guys cook and eat their meals here. One of my fun things is I always see these guys at a local supermarket gathering their dinner or their breakfast for that morning. Uh, so now they have a great nice place to cook. Jeff, are you a cook? Can you cook? Yeah, I can cook. I, I learned how to cook on the fire department. Did That's you really? Fact. Yeah, yeah. Cool, good deal. I was never much of a cook. Ramen <laughs> noodles, pot pies. That's it. Grilled cheese. Pizza. Yeah. That's it. But nice now, big table for the guys to sit and enjoy a meal at. Lots of areas to serve yeah. and things. So a great deal here. Look at this unique thing, Jeff. Oh yeah, you come out here and this is a great place to hang out. Guys come out here and barbecue, enjoy the weather. That is really nice. A nice little patio area, yeah. some green space. Uh, you know, we always have some decent weather. It's right here. Uh, we're just a week away from November, and it's a beautiful day, no wind. Yes. Guys can come out here and relax and, and, and get their heads right for that next call. That's another good thing about these stations they got in mind is, is the, the guys fellowshipping with each other. You know, a lot of the open concept, you know, they're all in the same room. We have to bond with each other yeah. and connect with each other, and that's yeah. a good way to maintain that connection. You know, you come out here, you throw some horseshoes, and cook some burgers, and hang out, bring your family up here. Yeah. Very family friendly station. That's a good deal. That's yeah. a good deal. That camaraderie is right. That's yes, nice it job is. I bet. Yeah, it is. You can we'll check continue. out the rest of the station. Here 
nice locker room nice area. Locker room, that's clean. Lots nice of space. Big lockers. Yeah, big lockers. Those are good size. Oh, yeah. yeah. From here we have the dormitory. Let's see if we can figure out how to turn on lights. Yeah, there we go. So in here, these guys have kind of got their own separate bedrooms. We that have two beat. beds in each room. Mm -hmm. But this guy works on a different shift than this guy. Right. You right. know what I mean? So each guy's got his own little little space. His own little area. It's that helps to unwind too, because some of these guys snore, they you know, they <laughs> pass gas. <It's laughs> and that takes away from the old concept with the big huge open bed. When I first started we had ninety I think ninety eight beds in wow. one room at central downtown. Wow. And man, if you didn't go to bed first, you weren't gonna fall asleep because of all the snoring. <laughs> Just those guys <laughs> That's a nice touch. That it is, is a nice, it gives, really, a, gives a sense of a, a little bit of privacy yep. and a quiet space. Um, ahead, speaking man. on privacy, another thing they've done is instead of having one big locker room for men and one for women, right. we sort of have these unisex areas where right. there's a shower. Oh, wow. You yeah. know, so it's, it's private. No matter, yeah. no matter what you are, mm -hmm. you can come in here and uh, do your thing by yourself. Nice shower, nice place to sit down after the shower, relax, yeah. decompress after a fire or something like that. But uh, great, beautiful facility here. Yeah. Sort of that 12 man big shower that you Yeah, know, exactly. Yeah. So that's a good deal. That is a good deal. Uh, did you, uh, as firefighters, have a lot of input on the building of this place? Yes, we did. The, the, the chief um, actually you know, asked a lot of the station officers with three and nine, what they would recommend, what they liked, what they didn't like, and then the chief himself had a lot of input wow. in it, so it's very nice. That is beautiful. Yeah. More uh, bunk space More there. More bedroom area here. A third bathroom. Here. Wow. Come on out here. This is sort of oh, our... Something big and important here. Yeah, this is... What they wanted to do here by getting washing machine and dryer here so you can wash your clothes we have an extractor over here where you can wash your turnout gear. Mm -hmm. And we kind of set this up like a hazmat scene. So at a hazmat scene, you're going to have a hot zone, a warm zone, and a cold zone. Hot zone is where everything is contaminated. So out in the truck room, we keep all of our bunker gear, all the stuff that has soot, carcinogens on it. And we bring it in here to the warm zone, and you hang your bunker gear over here, or you wash it in the extractor, wash your clothes, and then you go into the cold zone, which is the decontaminated zone, shower off. And so start all way, over. You're not taking one part of contamination or right. soot or the fire into your living space. Correct. That is nice. That we used to really sleep nice. with our turnout gear right next to the bed, wow. so you just turn around and get your turnouts, but the, because of cancer, we're not right. doing that. Right, right, right. And, and that's a great thing, I guess. Everybody took into consideration the yeah. health and safety of yeah. the uh, firefighters here. Yeah. The and guys, we didn't, we didn't like it at first, yeah. but we, Very we, used we to realize it. it's, it's for our own safety. So you guys want to check out yeah, the truck? Yeah, check out the truck. How you guys doing? This is uh, the home of Big Rick. Yep. The Big Bay Area. Yep. Uh, Ford and backward doors here. One of the things that we talked about this, Jeff, is the new design of your doors here. Tell folks a little bit about that. Well, in the past we've had doors that, you know, overhead doors uh, that take... 20 seconds or so to come up and then even then we had some difficulties with some of them in the past uh, occasionally they get stuck you have to go up the ladder and hit the reset button um, or use another door to go out of these doors open in about seven seconds they are quick they're very reliable they have sensors on them so uh, yeah they're really cool very heavy duty and you have to think it, this is not like our garage door at home that you hit maybe twice a day, maybe three times. They're in and out of this door on a busy day, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Uh, it's not just a fire you guys go That's out right. on. If it's a health call, uh, someone sick, pass out, that sort of thing, these guys are out the door. They usually beat the paramedics there. Absolutely. And they're the first thing on the site in an incident. So there's very little hanging out and hanging out around here. So Especially this station. Yeah. This is a... Yeah. Very, very busy station, not to mention we are uh, launching another paramedic truck out right. at this station right here. Mm -hmm. So that'll be two trucks now that are basically staffed full of guys that are intermediate, advanced, paramedic levels. They carry, you know, different uh, narcotics that they can right. administer to the patients and give them that advanced care. 
and they're centrally located. They're right on I-40. Like you said, they come in and out here all the time. You know, firefighting is the least of what we do. And those stacked, uh, those stock paramedic trucks are something that y'all implemented a new program about six to eight months ago. Right. Uh, so you could have those, like you said, different levels of emergency yeah. care available at any time. Right, any because we do typically get there first. Yeah. And that gives us way more things that we can treat the patient with until the ambulance gets there. That's right. Beautiful new firehouse, it's here. Amarillo Fire Station number nine, the newest Amarillo Fire Department station. Uh, it's on I-40 at Paramount. They'll open this up, have a grand opening about November 1st. We're looking at November 7th, I believe, a Thursday uh, in November. If you can, come out, see these guys, see what they do to keep us safe in our community and why it's important that we continue uh, to, to develop and invest money into our fire departments, police departments, all those emergency services. This is what your tax dollars pay for, and it's well worth every penny. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, David. Anytime, sir. Be careful.